What's new, everybody? And already with the hunchbacks, I just barely started this stage. <laughs> Welcome to part 3 of Castlevania 3, and this stage can be a bit tricky. The next room in particular is hard because it's a giant waterfall section, in which case you're basically going automatically to the left or right depending on which way the waterfall waterfall flows. Excuse me. And you also have the crows that are annoying to hit because they're up in the air, and mermen that shoot fireballs at you. But there is a way to destroy this sequence with Sypha. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sypha's overpowered. There's a particular candle that holds Sypha's frost shield. You grab it, and you'll be able to freeze the water temporarily, which will make a whole world of difference because that will stop the mermen from coming. Only for a brief period of time, though. That was the frost shield right there. And I was very lucky not to hit that candle as Trevor because I threw a boomerang and it kind of arced back towards the candle. So I was like, ah oh, crap, I gotta jump jump before it makes it to the candle and breaks it and I get an axe or something. Because, for obvious reasons, Trevor can't use magic. <laughs> and this part, you can also make a total cakewalk because look at this. Axe armor, one hit. <laughs> Bone pillar, one hit. Hunchbacks, well they go down one hit no matter what, but one hit. <laughs> Man, Sypha is just broken. And Grant also has his uses, like him climbing on walls and stuff, and also his dagger, but I tended to lean more towards Sypha, and Alucard is, well, it's just really only useful for the bat transformation. I think the one true enemy of this game, besides Dracula and all the other hazards, are definitely the stairs. <laughs> the stairs can kill you way harder than anything else in this game. And it's not even like it's bad programming or bad enemy placement. Oh, maybe some of it is bad enemy placement, but it's just devious how how you control on stairs. You have to actually get used to holding up or down instead of diagonally because that will kill you a lot. And like I said before, this control scheme never returns in any other game ever again. It's just Castlevania 3, you just have to hold up or down. And I find that kind of confusing, but also I'm thankful that they got rid of that design choice because, <laughs> my god, imagine Castlevania 4 or Bloodlines where you have to hold just strictly up or down just to get on a flight of stairs. That would be a pain in the ass. And by holding up to get on the stairs, I actually mean holding up to initiate walking up the stairs and get on the flight, not just holding up while you're already on the stairs and you just walk up the stairs. They do that in every Castlevania game. Alright, so this boss right here, the Leviathan, or the Lesser Demon as it's known in Japan, is kinda tricky because one wrong hit and you'll go flying into the pit. You have to use your cross and stay as far away from as far away from the flamethrower attack as possible and try to whip it that way. But Sometimes whipping it is just not an option because, again, that flamethrower attack is has really good range. Finally in Castlevania, and this stage is hard. <laughs> the boss on the other hand is, well it's another boss gauntlet type deal, but the final part of the boss gauntlet is easy. This is where the axe armors and the bone pillars start to become more prevalent because we're, we're reaching end game territory, even though we still got one more part of this. This is uh, where the game starts to lose its mind basically. And I forgot another thing that becomes more prevalent. Stairs! Lots and lots of stairs. And there's also this one downwards scrolling, auto scrolling level where you have to go down the castle. And if you jump to where you think a platform is and there's no platform there, you are going to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, video game logic at its best. Ah, fine, I'll just take the hit and move on. I don't have Cypher's Frost Shield anymore, so that's why I just took the dumbass hit.
This bone pillar right here is not too bad. You just have to duck down in order to hit its, hit its fireballs before it hits you. And I switched to Sypha here because Sypha is really good at uh, taking out bone pillars with her flamethrower build. Oh shit. <laughs> I just let the secret slip. Okay, yes. Sypha is indeed a she. <laughs> I was trying to save that for the end, but I, I'm guessing everybody and their grandma who hasn't played Castlevania knows that Sypha is indeed a girl. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but then again, I did play Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion and Zero Mission long, long before Metroid 1, <laughs> where everybody was like, oh my god, Samus was a girl? <laughs> and even then, it was probably not even that sh Well, it probably was shocking because it was the first, but I'm not really surprised there. <laughs> Quite honestly, maybe it's just me. But you also have to take into account that I was born later into the 90s where female video game characters were already a thing and I basically... Games already had them since I was born. <laughs> Let's just say that my expectations were a bit duller on the surprise factor on and more on... Uh, man, how, how do I word it? Just basically how badass a female can be in video games. <laughs> because Joanna Dark and Laura Croft were just... They're, they're probably some of my favorite characters ever in video games. Let's just say that. I went on that little tangent because I can. <laughs> I don't know, I was bored. Uh, this part right here is frustrating. Those little pillars right there, you think you can jump on them, but you really can't. It's just a background object. And that jump is really tight too. Oh, well, no, this jump right here is really tight. It's, uh, oh my god, this part is frustrating. I don't know why they painted those pillars to make it look like you can stand on them, but you can't. Like, have them be a darker shade of gray or something. It's just, it looks like you can stand on them. I've died many a time to that one jump alone, and it's basically just, that is a really spectacular leap of faith. <laughs> Which is why in every video game that has a jump, like just like a really brutal jump like that, I just call it a Castlevania 3 jump because it's just... That jump is bullshit. <laughs> and this part is also bullshit. You got this uh, downward scrolling auto scroller, and you jump to where you think a platform is, but if that platform doesn't spawn, you just die. What does he break his legs on impact or something, or does he fall through the platform? Is it. I don't get it. <laughs> Castlevania is a creature of chaos. Yeah, it's a creature of chaos when platforms don't appear under your feet. <laughs> And you just eat wall turkeys. Yeah, I don't get the wall turkey. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> There's no modern medical supplies in uh, 15th century Europe. Unless, you know, video game. Anywho, this boss is another gauntlet. And you got mummy again. Oh my god. <laughs> Still the same thing. This is really the only thing that Castlevania 3 falters on are the boss fights because they are challenging, yes, but they are kind of, uh, there's a lot of rehash. The only thing that's not rehash is the final boss because it's the final boss. Oh yeah, and then there's the uh, Leviathan. I think he's also a unique boss too. I don't see him anywhere else in the game. Unless they use him once in... Alucard's path, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Cyclops down. He's he's the same as before. No surprise there. But here's a unique boss. Yay! <laughs> we got Massive Gargoyle, who's who's actually pretty easy. He just jumps three times and shoots a three a three-way spread shot fireball. That's he's not really that challenging. But I also got one hit left to die, so I gotta be careful not to touch this dude, which I do end up doing because I'm good. <laughs> and he's easily exploitable though. He just jumps to, you just stay to the right and he'll either jump to wherever you are, but since there's a platform there, he'll just jump to that platform instead. Or just jump, jump to the right or jump back down to ground level. He'll never jump to where you're at since there's a top platform there. Man, I am stuttering over my words like crazy today. Goddamn.
Well, that was a shorter episode than usual, but I'll make it up to you for the finale of Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. I'll see you then.